things are put back together and I think I know why I crashed and I'll let me demonstrate that here in a second. As you can see or hear, uh, trying to take off from an unlevel area results in two motors spinning way faster than the other two and the thing flying sideways probably until it has time to stabilize which unfortunately I panicked before it hit that point so it never got the chance to straighten out uh, I think if I had had more space it would have turned out just fine actually so lesson learned now I know Yeah, not enough space in here. That thing is just too big to fly around inside, so... To the park! Alright! Okay, we're at the park. We got some space. Let's do this! <laughs> See, I got my flight mode switch now. I can fly it in stupid, retarded, easy mode. Do it in easy mode. Well, I'm gonna. <laughs> the altitude hold mode. I just gotta wait for it to get a GPS lock and then we're off. I want to deny, deny being a beginner, but I'm... 3D fix. Okay, GPS is good. Here we go. Alright. <laughs> okay, there are people about... Nah, they look fairly safe. Yeah, about 80 yards, so we've got a good 20 seconds. We'll run out of batteries before it gets over there to hurt anybody. Yes. Okay, fair enough. Yeah! Whoa, 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 hold it up! Hold gas to the left. There you go, you're on it. Oh. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! It's not staying level like okay. it should be. It's okay, we're so much more dialed in there. I'm nervous as hell. Okay, I don't know what that was. That was, that was <laughs> no, something was, cracked. Something cracked. There, Did there's... you hear that? That was bad. That was awesome. <sighs> I got it closer. It looks twisted up right now. That's the biggest peak. Do it. I'm too scared. <laughs> More power is better at the beginning. You don't want to. You don't want it to hit the ground. It'd be better if it went up than down. More power. What the hell? 
More power, more power. There you go. No, something is not right. Oops, what heard a crack. Fuck? Is that landing gear going now? It looks like it... It's doing something. Power, power, power. Yeah, you got it. Was that, I didn't see the landing gear move. I didn't even try it. Oh, okay. It's like dude, it's this thing flies not that bad, really. I mean, it, it does look shaky and it's twisting a little, but dear God, it's alive. I heard a crack on it when you hit that ground, when you hit the ground that yeah. time, it cracked. Yeah. Badass, dude. I Congratulations. Broke my, I broke my hood. It's all right. We'll fix it. Five minutes of radness there, dude. <laughs> I broke the canopy. Looks like my... Oh, yeah. Let me see your crack. Oh yeah, dude, it totally goes around. The servo is broken off. So, the landing gear servo is broken, so we couldn't retract it now if we wanted to. See, it's popped up. Right and my upper frame is broken. I'm not that surprised since everything else I printed in that plastic broke the same way, so I'll reprint that with something else. Right now, it gets up and it's like, oh shit, Frankenstein walks, you know. <laughs> yeah, so, that didn't quite go according to plan. I didn't actually get to test the landing gear at all before I broke it, so it flew like crazy. It, it was flew, awesome. I, it flew probably out of the view of the camera, unfortunately, since nobody was watching it. I had lower expectations, they were met. <laughs> it was badass. Wait, if you have, if you're seeing this point in the video, then you've already seen it. That's true. Shit. Okay, so upcoming stuff. I'm gonna be printing a case for the Mobius camera that I forgot to turn on before we started flying. Oops. Um, a case to make it look like a GoPro to fit it into a GoPro gimbal. So that'll be another project and we'll be upgrading this thing with video capabilities, hopefully, and maybe adding some LEDs. So not spying on anybody near you. Unless you're near us, yeah. and then there's no guarantees. And then it's not spying. We're just trying to avoid crashing into you. <laughs> <laughs> so stay out of our way. It's for better for everyone. Is everything okay? Anything to? I do see the antenna dangling back there, but. You can't reach the frost. Okay. Hard. There you go. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Kill it! No, no, no! Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Shit! How did that happen? I think I broke a prop. It sounded like it. It, it broke the leg. Big leg? Yeah, the left rear leg right there. But oh, it's, my it's just off. bent. Yeah. More broken ABS, big shocker. Yeah. No, my, my uh, forward and backwards was reversed just like yours. Weird. Yeah. All right, 3D printed drone, uh, attempt nice three. There you go. Oh, no, this thing is totally going to Want to set it down? Oh Ooh. my god, this thing cannot handle landing at all. Wow. I mean, did you see? I wasn't going that No, bad. that was a perfect landing. I mean, it was going sideways, which it... It's, yeah, we're going to have to do something about that. Well, I'm back from my third test flight. Uh, turns out the second time, you know, was caused by the barometer and me trying to fly it on altitude hold mode and the weather being weird and the air pressure. Uh, it basically jackhammered itself into the grass uh, over and over again and broke. And it wasn't even my fault, it just tried to commit suicide. So this time I'm like, okay, let's go fly it in stabilized mode because I got it fixed the next day. Uh, just got back from that and you see how that turned out. Um, Somehow my controls were all reversed and wonky, and I don't know how the hell that happened because they work fine 
before, and I didn't change anything. Uh, tried to pitch it forward, and it went sideways, and I got confused, and I tried to land it, and that thing went sideways just a hair. Uh, I thought I was landing okay, but the landing gear just buckled and broke the ring that holds the landing gear upright, and that requires me to unsolder a motor completely, take a motor mount off, take the tube off to slip another ring on the end. I really don't want to do that. Um, I think I'm I think I'm done with this, actually. Uh, no matter what I do, every time that thing hits the ground, something breaks. It's crazy. Uh, Caesar took his Terret 680 out, drove it into the dirt upside down, and it tumbled. And all he did was broke a couple carbon tubes. And, you know, I mean, that thing that thing seems way more robust. And it's, it didn't try to kill itself. Uh, but I think I just need to yank the electronics out of this thing and move it to something else. Um, it's nice being able to print replacement parts, but it sucks needing to replace parts every time I try to fly. I mean, maybe I suck, but every time it hits the ground, I swear, that thing is just so weak in so many different ways that there's always going to be a weak spot that's, that's just waiting to snap on me. So stick around. I'm sure I'll do lots more drone videos, but, um, at this time, I don't think, I don't want to fix this that much. I mean, I, I'm over it. I still haven't even tested the landing gear in the air. Never gonna, I guess. Let's forget it. Uh, but I can show you. You can see this ring right here is the thing that keeps the, the motors tilted the correct direction. It broke in half where the screws go through because it's a really weak spot, really thin plastic right there. Uh, In order to put a new one on, I got to take this off and slip it all the way down. Um, and if I have to unsolder wires, I ain't putting them back. No, not a chance. Um, you know, there's a tremendous amount of pressure going up the center of this thing where the landing gear is. Um, when this thing hits the ground, it's, I mean, the last time I flew it, it popped the servo right through the top. So that's no good uh, you know that I hit the ground going just slightly sideways right this landing gear foot snapped pulled the screw right through I mean these spots where the plastic is this the screw holes are so thin that they are never gonna be strong even if you, you could probably make them strong if you made this out of aluminum but plastic ain't gonna hold it's so thin and is right on the edge there's just so many things about this design that are awesome but there's even more that are terrible and this thing will look cooler hanging on the wall than it will uh, me making a crash video every two days so I think I'm gonna pull the electronics out and just let it die <laughs> thanks for watching Cosmo out oh better subscribe because you don't know what kind of stupid stuff I'm going to do next. As long as we keep crashing drones, we'll keep filming.